Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Rett. I hope you are doing well. So today's video is a requested one and that is my makeup. So when I do my videos, a lot of the time you guys will be like, drop your skincare routine, drop your makeup routine. And I cannot lie, I do not do my makeup myself in my videos because I am not the best when it comes to makeup. However, I do have my lovely friend, Lutz here with me, who, <laughs> who does my makeup most weeks because I just feel like it just looks so much better on camera when I have a professional makeup artist do it, um, especially when they've got all these lights on and stuff, she just knows how to do it perfectly. So today we're gonna break down what Lutzie does to my face because I literally have it the same exactly every, time. every single time <laughs> and also we're in the office today so you might hear a bit of ELR style in the background because the guys are working in the office I'll just give you a quick turn around <laughs> say hi say hi guys so if there's a bit of a background noise that's what it is Auntie's printing out all of your orders from ELR style which is what that noise is in the background and smooth FM <laughs> let's get going let's get going well, she's going to talk you through every step that she does from start to finish, basically. I am. Without giving out too many secrets. <laughs> um, so firstly, you always want to prep your skin. That's like the key to flawless base. So even if you washed your face, and like a lot of people tell me, you know, when I'm doing clients, they're like, oh, I'll, I'll clean my face. I still will clean it because it's nice to get all the yeah. shine off, you know. So I'm just using micellar water from Bioderma, which is my favourite. So something I really struggle with creating my own makeup as well is my under eyes. So let's see has it down to a T. Mm. As well, that little bell you'll hear is actually Max's bell because when he needs to go to the toilet, it rings the bell and um, <laughs> it's people going in and out of the office door. Back to makeup. <laughs> so let's see is really good at helping me with my under eye because I find naturally I have a really creased under eye when I put powder on or just anything really like product. It really, my under eyes suck it up, don't they? Mm. I think it's important, like I think people sometimes think that when you've got, you know, they feel like they've got a lot to cover, they pile on product, whereas I feel it's the opposite, really. Mm -hmm. When you're, if you're trying to disguise it, you just need to be a bit more gentler with how you're packing on the product. So now I'm just going in with a little bit of moisturizer. I'm just using the CeraVe one. I love that moisturizer. I feel like it doesn't leave you shiny after like a few minutes. I found that as well, like when I do my own makeup badly. <laughs> if I don't really hydrate my skin first, then the foundation just kind of like sits all yeah. on my skin. Oh my God, yeah, skin prep is like mm -hmm. the one. I think people forget about it and they're like, my makeup is not staying on. <laughs> but it is what you put underneath the makeup that really counts. counts yeah. I am just literally still on skin prep, making sure that lips are hydrated. Because in winter as well, I find mm. my lips are so dry. And I love this little pow pow stuff. You can use it everywhere. It says it's for like skin hair. I wouldn't put it in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good for even like as a hand cream as well. And then the last Thank step. You. For the skin prep is my Bobbi Brown hydrating eye cream. This is like magic in the pot. Mm. It's amazing. I need all the hydrating. Can you for me? Um, so now I'm just going to highlight kind of her um, eyebrow. I like to do that bit before I do the eyes, just because it's easier. I can be a bit more messier with it as well after. So, by the way, I'm using the NARS. Um, what is this called? Uh, <laughs> it's basically their creamy concealer rather than the tube ones because I feel like they don't crease as much and for the eyelids. So. I found the Jeffrey Dahmer thing like addictive because I actually watched like seven episodes in one night yeah. and then afterwards I was like oh this is so like wrong and I kept like yeah. having nightmares about why it was awful oh yeah so did I Ooh. oh, oh <laughs> no mm, I feel sorry, like that was the part you. where I didn't, I didn't feel sorry for him but I like I saw him as human in the fact that he was really trying to like love him but he didn't know how can we can we can we not do this? We're not gonna make excuses for serial killers here, okay? <laughs> it's not happening. He was a psychopath, and I'm so glad he got bited in prison. Yeah, I am too. Jesus! No, I watched so many like interviews with his dad as well. You really? know the real ones. Oh, after. he seemed like a really like lost but man. But I think. honestly think he knew that there was something really Wrong with deep him. evil going on. I yeah. like the grandma. Like the, I know she was old and stuff, but. Do you literally smell dead bodies in your house? You'd be um. like, okay, this has gone past the point of a dead raccoon now. Like, <laughs> be more on camera. I'm now using the best neutral palette. This is the uh, Makeup by Mario, mm. my favorite. <laughs> it's the Master Mattes. Basically, it's literally just a load of neutrals. neutrals and matte colors, which is every person needs this palette in their life. I feel like I need it's to life changing. In that. I basically just use kind of the light shades and I 
go over the whole lid just to set it and then I use this corner one right here which is kind of like just a very natural brown and then I just kind of do a little outer edge. I have also got one eye that is almond shaped and one round shape so, and so I don't notice do this but she says it all the time I, mean, I can't I can't see the difference but one is almond one is round <laughs> What I did here, I've just smoked out like the, her, the outer corners here because and then when you put the wing on it doesn't look so like, you know, I don't know what that is. It doesn't look so, <laughs> but it just helps the liner just blend into everything and just, you know, look just snatched there. Um, we were also just talking when we took a little bit of a break from filming because my battery is literally on 1% and I want to keep this going. Um, that Lutzia has actually started doing fashion reels, so you should check those out. Okay. She has the best taste. You Actually, when we go for drinks and dinner and stuff and I obviously I always tag all the girls together, everyone's always like, can you ask your friend where she got her jeans from? And it's ah. always Lutzia and I'm like... And it's always Zara. <laughs> so yes, go check that out. I'll link Lutzia's details for her makeup page and also her fashion page down below so if you want to check those out all i've done now is just wiped it around and then i kind of always follow the bottom lash line and then just wipe it around and if i need to lift it anymore like i get it to look straight and if it looks a bit droopy you just wipe a bit more next i'm just gonna put a little wing on and a little half lash so we'll be back soon just doing a little wing so i'm keeping it on the outer corner and lifting it up so when the lash goes on it will just be very lifted. I don't do big wings on her because I feel like if you do a really long wing, it will just get hidden in the crease. So you just want to really keep it high up and quite small. So then it fits perfectly with the half lash. I also always, always line the um, lash line with eyeliner because I feel like when you do a half lash, if you don't have that really, really fine line by the lash line, it just looks a bit disjointed in my opinion. So I'm just look up for me and then I'm just wiping up all the all residue. Out. Yeah, residue. I was like, is that the right word? <laughs> Where are you from again, Lutzi? Tell tell everyone. I am close to your ends, Eastern um, European. I'm from Lithuania. Lithuania and a Polski. Do you know what? People in school used to call me because they were really horrible and used to be really horrible to foreign oh. people. They used to call me little alien. Apparently it sounds like Lithuanian. Oh, I can't see Anthony! <laughs> So literally just sharpen up. So if you mess up your wing and make it a little bit bigger than you want it, literally, it's as easy as that. Just get a makeup wipe and then just wipe off the outer edges of it. And then here you go. It's nice and sleek. I am really bad and I do my foundation first, which is the Oh, worst. before the eyes. Yeah. I think if you're, if I do that only if I'm doing something really, really like soft on the eyes mm -hmm. but because i've been using black and stuff yeah. you just want to be able Make to sure, yeah yeah and i also when i do it on clients i find it easier because obviously i'm touching your face so if mm -hmm. i've had your base on yeah. you get fingerprints everywhere so we're moving on to face this is like oh god it's rubbed off the but holy it is, grail yes it is it's charlotte tilbury hollywood glow it's amazing like emily likes a really glowy dewy look without looking oily yeah. So you just put it in the high points. I kind of go around her cheekbones around here, put a bit on her chin, just where the light hits. Uh, excuse me, Lucy, we're trying to film a YouTube video here. <laughs> also, I wanted to talk about my tan because you might notice I'm very tanned. I just did the collab with Tanologist and it's so good. I'm literally, the first thing Lutzi said to me when she walked in, she was like, you are tan. Glowing. Glowing, honey. And it looks really nice. It's it like there's no, yeah, you know, no patchy at all. Bitties. I really like it. So what I'm doing now is, so Emily tends to get a bit of an oiliness on her forehead. Shine. This NARS Pore and Shine Control Primer is absolutely amazing. It honestly does do what it says on the tin. I feel like because I have a lot of Botox in my forehead as well, like the light just hits my forehead. It's and it just so shiny. Catches it yeah, all. It's like, boom, beacon. And then I like to go in as well, like these bits. This is where people tend to... Like their makeup tends to wear off quite quickly mm -hmm. so i like to go into the nose just here and just a tiny bit on her chin as well so we are moving on to foundation now so one of my go-to that i love using on emily because it just looks so nice on her skin is this l'oreal paris which is plumping tin serum oh my god it's amazing isn't it you yeah started using that i've bought it as well i've told you guys about it on instagram before and i, I use it if i'm gonna wear foundation that's the one that i'll wear yeah, this is my also go-to foundation which is nars. the uh, nars natural radiant long wear foundation amazing as well these two together 
Thanks. Dream team! So for application of foundation, I like to firstly go in with a brush and then I go and blend it out with a sponge. Also, when I apply foundation, I always try and do it in a downwards motion because we all, you know, everyone's different, but we do all have those little tiny hairs on our face. So if you're going all over, you're like kind of, <laughs> yeah, you're disturbing those hairs, you know, yeah. and you want a smooth as possible application. So you want to go downwards, we're laying them all down. Oh my God, do you remember when we were in London <laughs> and she showed me the sponge and she said, look, I bought this sponge and she was dabbing the dry thing on her face. And I was like, Emily, do you know that you're meant to wet these? I was like, really? How no yeah. idea. Oh god, that was. But hilarious. even now, it gets too wet. I don't like it, and then I feel like it makes it separate. Why oh, does that happen? So, yeah. So when I am like notorious, I will squeeze everything out, and then I get a towel and really squeeze it in because you do not want any water. You are correct. If it is um, too, too wet. wet, it will separate your foundation. This bit makes me feel sleepy. I'm like ASMR. <laughs> I actually really want to do People an ASMR like, video because I oh my god I love ASMR. Do you like, actually? Most nights I watch I've it. I've got like a love hate relationship really? with them because I'm like, it does draw you in. Yeah. But then I get annoyed with myself. I'm like, why am I watching this? <laughs> why am I watching someone tap on their mic? And does anybody else like ASMR? Please, someone else tell me in the comments. I want to do like team a, yes, <laughs> team no. <laughs> I want to do like um, a personal shopping ASMR where I'm like, hello, I am your personal shopper. I think this color would really suit you. Oh my god, no, not the two in. <laughs> also, when you do your foundation, like don't forget about those little areas, you know? Be yeah. Behind your ears, on your ears as well, because oh god, I see people all the time with like red ears, <laughs> and then their face is like perfectly That's flawless, me. and then you look at the ears and like always like drag it down a little bit. I don't really like dragging it a lot down the neck because I feel like then it can look a bit, you know. I also don't really like very yellowy tone foundations because I feel like everyone goes for the yellow tone because they want to look bronze, but you look orange. So yeah. I like neutral, you know? I like neutral and I've got quite a pink tone to my skin as yeah. well. So we're moving on to concealer. I like to use a little bit darker concealer to start with just to kind of get rid of the discoloration under the eyes and neutral it all out. And then I like to use a lighter one to just brighten it all up. And I also never really use a lot of product on the under eye because I do think like it just creases mm -hmm. and I mean it looks great on camera but I like things to look amazing in real life too, you know? Yeah. This concealer is amazing, so it's a Too Faced one. Look up for me, darling. And um, I leave that a bit to, because this is where I'm not trying to really, I've kind of covered the discoloration already but mm -hmm. I'm just trying to brighten. So I just keep that there to simmer for a little bit. When you're like dabbing as well with a sponge, you have to be really gentle. How long would you say we would leave this for? Literally a couple of minutes. A couple of then, minutes. Yeah. I am now going on to a little bit of contouring. I like using the Huda Beauty Tantor. I dab it in there and then I have a bit of concealer on my hand and I just soften it out a little bit. Really gently because we do not want to move anything that's underneath. So I've just done my cream contour and I'm just gonna dab out that concealer that we let sit for a little bit this blush is oh my god what is it fair beauty i think it's selena gomez's brand but it's just amazing um it's very lovely blush pink and emily loves pinky pink vibes she, this is just honestly i've been trying to find a good cream bron um blush, blush for so long and this is it it just does not move anything underneath so Too faced concealer yes rare, rare beauty, beauty blush what else did we say I like? Uh, you've got the L'Oreal. Oh, the Mario palette. Yeah, the Mario palette, <laughs> yes. Um, and then also the under eye. So what powder did you use under eye? Haven't done oh, that, I'm gonna okay. show you that. So we're gonna go set the eyes now. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Um, it's the airbrush flawless finish in shade one. And, um, it's like these little sponges are everywhere now. You just get them on Amazon. And it's really good because it's got points so you can really get right in there. They come in a pack of like, Six or seven. I another think. purchase for us, guys. Another thing I'm adding to my shopping. Yeah. And then, very lightly again, we do not want to move anything underneath. The difference is so nice. So, we're getting rid of any creasing because we've had the concealer on there. Just lightly pressing on it. I'm not using a lot of product. I like to go down the nose as well because this is where it creases. Then, using the Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake in shade cupcake and then I get Emily to look up and then 
I feel like this bit, so the other bit sets it and makes it flawless and this bit really brightens it. Whilst I've put the powder there, I'm just literally going to do the under the eye. In case there's any fallout, I can just wipe it off. And I'm just getting rid of if any fallout from that eyeshadow and just wiping anything off. What I always say to Emily as well is because I use so many cream products, whatever you do use cream, you want to set it with powder. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush. And then I like to go again a bit on the forehead to bring it all together. This is a little MAC palette. I really like it. It comes as a little trio. I think I got it. It was like a Christmas edition. And I just go over again, very lightly dabbing that across her face. And these colours as well, they're not matte. They've got a bit of sheen to it. Again, that brings it all to make her look so glowy. I feel like in person, it looks really nice, this look. But on camera, it also looks really nice. So it's best of both worlds, where sometimes you'll see in person it's like really heavy if you're gonna go on camera like when I've done shoots and stuff before I've been on there and I thought oh my god I look like I've got so much makeup on but then you get under the camera and it's literally like you look amazing mm. I'm just literally popping a bit of mascara on before I pop lashes on her these are it is actually one lash but I've cut it in half and I get Emily to just look down and then I just literally pop it on so when you're putting eyelashes on yourself which is an absolute mare because even myself like I wear lashes all the time but I find them a nightmare to put on. You wanna hold a mirror down here, so then your eyelid, because I think a lot of people, that they close their eye, yeah, and then what that, happens yeah. is, you kind of crinkle your eyelid, so when you're putting it on, it's not actually going in onto your natural lash line. So you want to hold your mirror here, and then use tweezers, and then you literally, you hold your mirror here, and you plop it on top. Your eyelid is fully stretched out as yeah, well, and idea. you can see what you're doing, and you're literally going from the top, and you're just dropping it down that's on your eyelash. I works. usually do mine like I look in the mirror like this, and then I put no, it on there, but see, then that's yeah. why. Yeah, and then like you end up weird, closing like, your yeah. eye, and it just you never get yeah. it completely right. But if you just hold it down and you just go from the top and block, pop it on. You tell I'm feeling myself, guys. I'm mm. like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a video on how I do my eyebrows because day to day I dye them myself and then I'll pluck them myself and I'll use like the Refi beauty stuff and people ask me quite often what I use on my eyebrows so I'm gonna film that and probably put it on Instagram and TikTok and maybe shorts on here because I want to share a bit more beauty stuff with you guys because I feel like it gets you know love for the fashion so much but we need a little bit of change sometimes so this is my all I have is literally a clear piece of soap and I'm just brushing the eyebrows up and then I'm just going in, I love these little things, they're like dual ended and then it's just a very fine little pencil. So I'm just literally following her natural brow. My biggest fear is when somebody <laughs> leaves and I'm like, oh my god, if they are not happy. happy and yeah. I always make somebody feel really comfortable at the end, I'm like, if there's anything. Or a lot of the time when you come to an appointment, ask, tell your makeup artist and say, oh, I don't I really don't like when my eyebrows are really bold yeah. and big. I don't like big lashes or I don't like really overdrawn lips. I always, as a makeup artist, ask that at the beginning of the appointment. Yeah. I always say, what you know, do is you there hate? anything that yeah. you really don't like? Yeah. I think that's so important because I honestly would hate somebody leaving my chair and yeah. be like, oh my god, this is not right. Yeah. Just doing a bit of mascara at the bottom. So for lips, I don't massively overdraw them. And if you do want to overdraw your lips, the only bit that you should really be overdrawing without looking a bit clowny is literally just these top bits here. Like, you don't want to overdraw here because this is where it looks very obvious that you're yeah. drawing your lips so you just want to keep it just a bit under the lip and then at the top if you do like the overdrawn lip i'm just going with the huda beauty matte lip um color first and then i'm gonna pop a bit of gloss on top of it and then i'm just using a clear gloss just makes them look very healthy don't they and this is the finished look guys mm -hmm. love it as always so gorgeous on camera with all the lights but then also in person really nice and natural and beautiful and this is how i would like want my wedding day makeup when i have my uk party you know just very like natural glam it looks great in summer great in winter it's just a good gorgeous glam look for any occasion um i hope you've enjoyed meeting lutz here and having a little bit more of a one-on-one -on -one with her and she's obviously shared her amazing tips with us which i'm so thankful for if you wanted to check her channel out she has instagram her beauty page and also her fashion page so check yes. both of them out give me um, a little follow yes and then also we've put a rundown of the products we've used today and the ones that i'm definitely going to be buying they're all linked down below if you want to shop any of those items and if you want to see anything else like maybe obviously we did a run through of what we do but if there's anything 
anything in detail you want more of like a how we do it then let us know and we'll do another video because like i said this happens most weeks now so. yeah i love it and it always takes me a little much longer because we can't stop we talking chat. i mean there was so many subjects that we spoke about today wasn't there, there was jeffrey yeah. Dahmer, <laughs> lots of things so we are gonna get cracking now i've got loads to film but i will catch you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching bye, bye.